Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got another mailbox. And I'm cheating a little bit because this didn't come in the mailbox, but I get a lot of stuff uh, from local places. I get, you know, I buy some stuff wholesale and then some stuff I buy through a local vendor here. I use Surge a lot over at pyrofliprc.com, and that's where I got all this stuff. So I just thought we would kind of have a show and tell. And let's see here. Let's... What's the best way to do it? Well, let's just kind of dump it. All right. And so let's go first to one I'm really excited about, actually. This is the Hyperlite frame in a 7-inch configuration. And I'm building this for a gentleman in Costa Rica. And he already has a Hyperlite. This has got the Hyperlite HD configuration, so it's longer. You can mount the battery on top. And then we have the 7-inch arms here. So we're going to be building up a Hyperlite in 7-inch with uh, some nice T-Motor F80s. And so um, that's what a lot of these parts in this box are for. So I'm excited about that. Stay tuned for that build-out video uh, for ESCs. We ran, we're running the DYS XSD 30 amp. These are D shot capable ESCs. And, you know, 30 amp is plenty because we will be running a 1900 kV motor, which will pull less amperage. Um, and so, and we'll be running between, you know, sometimes 4S in parallel. Um, and then sometimes 5S, and then probably even 6S. As far as props, you know, there's not a lot of choice out there, but HQ makes a pretty decent prop that are, that works, that are is not made for what they call slow flyers. Um, and these are uh, kind of a composite of carbon and nylon, I believe, is what, the, is what it is. Um, and so they come in pusher and then also just direct you know just so this would be your standard kind of what you would use in a regular airplane and then um and then you have your reversed so uh you know like i said there's not a lot of choice out there in seven inch but um from what i've talking to serge he's flown this obviously he has this hyper light frame and he's used these props they work really well so i'm excited about that a couple of just standard LEDs. These are the ones I run. They run straight off of LiPo power. Um, now that I say that, I realize if we're going to be running, these probably will not work. We will have to uh, use something else because these only work from 14 to 17 volts. And we're going to be running 5S at times, which 5S will push um, us to 18.5 volts. And so, and if it's success, this will not work. So we're going to have to get something that it runs off of like a five volt regulator. And that's how we'll run that, uh, standard camera here. Let's just zoom in. No reason for us to be so far out with this stuff. Uh, standard arrow. This is from Fox Air. This is pyro drones, rebranded Fox Air arrow, really great, great camera, uh, OSD built into it and uh, works really well. You have the choice of two, two types of mounting. Um, you've either got the, let me just pull this out real quick. You either have the single point mount or the, or the twin point. You can see here what I'm talking about. Okay. And then this is what's used more um, readily just because there's a lot of frames the the twin mounting will not work and we'll see which one works on this obviously if the twin is going to work i'm going to use that because it's a more of a secure mount but it does not always work another thing that i'm really excited about is this little guy this is the furious v3 and these kind of been a little bit hard to get a hold of um a lot of really good reviews out there on these so we're going to just do a little mini review a kind of a tabletop review on this because these are going out to my customer um, but i told asked him about doing review and he was totally for it and so we'll kind of go over some of the functions and how easy it is to use and that kind of thing for you so that's what's in the mailbox today guys hope you guys are enjoying these stay tuned like i said we'll do a build-up video on the seven inch 
Um, and then we'll do a little mini kind of a tabletop review of the of the V3 and just see how easy it is to navigate through the menu and that kind of thing. Okay. Again, appreciate you guys. Hope you have a great day and I hope you get some time to fly.